mean you don't actually believe that spending some time talking about our heartfelt emotions is going to make me release you. Oh my god! No, but it gave me enough time to snatch this from you. I'm really sorry, I have to do this, but I'm tired of playing the damsel in distress waiting for her Prince Charming to see her. But we need to get out of here before... Welcome back to another episode of I Married a Prince. If you haven't seen the other episodes in this series, you need to go watch them right now because something so dramatic just happened. You can click the link down below in the description or it's right up there if you click the I. Oh my gosh, guys. Emma literally kidnapped my mother and now is threatening to kill me because the first time she tried to kill me didn't work. Okay. What is happening? Oh wait, they want notifications. Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that just happened. We were waiting for Gabriella to change out of our wedding dress when a group of men dashed into the shop with guns. One of them knocked me out cold and when I woke up, I was alone in the apartment. Oh, kiddo. Where could she be? How did she have enough? So Emma kidnapped me. Oh my God. Will she be all right? I don't know. We're on the lookout for her. At least you're safe. Gabriella would have wanted that for you. Like, literally, what this is. Like, she tries to kill me once, doesn't work, so, um, she tries to kill me again. <laughs> Why, Emma? <gasps> Where is she? They're trying to trace your phone to get a location. Then why are we still sitting around doing nothing? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god! What is happening? Wow, for a princess, you sure don't pull any punches. Has what little elegance you even had in the first place go out of the window with those princess lessons? First off, I'm not going down without a fight. Secondly, what is your obsession with being the princess? Do you really have to run me over and kidnap me at gunpoint for the crown? Do you honestly think that you should become princess after all the stuff you have pulled? Oh my gosh! anymore. I just want someone to go down with me. Emma is literally crazy. Crazy. But daddy, I just thought, no, if you were capable of thinking, you wouldn't have kidnapped her. Everyone is looking for you and they're pushing the blame on me. You've always been a failure. Why did I even adopt you? Oh my gosh. Okay. It's no wonder that she went crazy. Okay. She literally has a crazy life. <gasps> oh my gosh. I mean, look, she kidnapped me. Oh, they're looking for me. Are you sure it's this way? Heck no. The last time we came down here was when we were 10 and Emma first discovered her dad had a secret cabin by the woods. Oh, where can that cabin be? Tristan, I need you to run a check on the property Stevens owns. All of the properties. <laughs> I'm hyperventilating. Help, my stomach hurts. I need um to poop really badly. You guys won't want to clean up after me. This is a big one. <gasps> Ew. What do you want? Uh, toilet paper? <gasps> so, fathers, huh? And this is your attempt to trying to get me to share my sob backstory as to why I'm kidnapping you. Save it. <gasps> oh. If Steven is such a jerk, why are you even helping him? Yeah, all of us are blessed with fathers who read us bedtime stories before bedtime princess. Here's your darn toilet paper. <gasps> you were his backup, weren't you? David never saw you as his child. You were just a pawn in his struggle for the throne. If he couldn't get it by his means, he thought at least he could have a daughter as the queen to satisfy his craving for power. You were brought up to become the queen, nothing less. But all you really wanted was just to be loved. And I'm a threat to that. Oh, Emma. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> She's so little. <laughs> Why is her dad so mean to her? She just wants to be, oh, she just wants love. <gasps> oh, look at them, they're so tiny. Oh, when that Stefan was like the first person to ever actually show her love because she's never been loved before. <gasps> That's why she loved him so much. Oh, this is so sad. Honestly, I can't. Oh, look at them at like prep school together. Being cute. <gasps> and her dad being horrible. You don't know anything about 
me. Emma, please wait! <gasps> I'm really sorry. <gasps> oh, what the heck do you want, Gabriella? Please tell me you don't actually believe that spending some time talking about our heartfelt emotions is going to make me release you. Oh my God! <laughs> no. But it gave me enough time to snatch this from you. I'm really sorry, I have to do this, but I'm tired of playing the damsel in distress waiting for her Prince Charming to save her. <gasps> oh my gosh! Attempt to save yourself, drop the gun. Oh my gosh! I'm going to save myself this time. You know what? Gabriella is going to save herself. Okay, hopefully she doesn't kill Emma because I'm not for that. But Gabriella is going to get herself out of this mess because she is a strong and independent woman who don't need nobody to come and save her, okay? We're going to do this. Yeah, you get out of there. This is her trying to rub you over with your car. Okay, but no violence is not answer. I meant like this escape around her. And this is her attempting to hurt my mom. Okay, calm down, Gabriella. And the last one was for trapping me here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at her go. Stealthy Gabriella. Where am I? I've been running around in circles in this jungle. I hope the prince is looking for me and the Lord. Forget about Edward. Stefan is looking for me. You got this, girl. Okay, was that really an end to our story? I thought there's going to be a little bit more excitement in terms of breaking out. Stefan? Oh my gosh. I swear, after we get out of here, we're going to get married immediately. Forget the preparations for the royal wedding. I need to have you handcuffed with me 24-7. No more letting you out of my sight. Is that a gun? I thought we established that I'm not the kind of person to sit around when I found you in the cabins with the kidnappers then. I snatched the gun to defend myself against Emma. She's obsessed. Hot. Stop it! Oh my god! But we need to get out of here before... Oh my god! Sometimes in life, I swear, <laughs> if Stefan is dead, you meet that special someone, and you just know he's the one, and if you're lucky enough, you might just be able to spend the rest of your life blissfully in his arms. <laughs> oh my god, what happened? <laughs> that if fate is benevolent, you'll be able to have your happily ever after. No, 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 not again! Oh, kiddo, oh my god! Oh my god! What happened? I can't! I'm gonna throw up! Everything came rushing back to me. Everything happened in slow motion then. One moment, I felt cold metal brush against my neck. The next moment, I felt Stefan's warmth as he shielded his entire body. Gunshots, tears, cries, screams, the rest is a blur. <gasps> he better not be dead. Oh my god. Did I? 
not. <laughs> hey, it's okay now. I'm here. <gasps> oh my god. My heart is literally insane. I don't think I've ever been more stressed out. Emma wasn't the nicest person, but she didn't deserve to die. Not like that. Hey guys, so I was looking back at this while I was editing it and realized that I didn't feel super comfortable putting the next part into the video. I know a lot of you guys have already played this, but basically what happened next is that Emma's character killed herself. I just wanted to record this because suicide is a very, very important topic, and I felt like they wrote the story, they used it more like a tool to make everyone feel bad for Emma, blame themselves, and erase all the horrible things that Emma's character did to everyone. Emma's this character was obviously struggling with her mental health and very troubled and nobody in the story was to blame for that but that doesn't make up for all the things that Emma did to everyone that was really bad. I know she's just a character but I think it's really important for us to use stuff like this to start a conversation. Her character most definitely shouldn't have died because just like in real life if someone's feeling sad or alone or things would be better without them suicide is never the solution to those things. It's important to talk with your friends and your family and to ask for help because someone will be there to help you. I know you guys have probably seen a lot about mental health online these days, so I just wanted to jump in and say that it's something that a lot of people do struggle with and there are so, so many ways to get help and I just wish the author would have written it so Emma would have gotten hers. So whether someone's going through something really big or really small, it's just important that we all treat each other with love and kindness. So, all right, I've said my piece, but I just wanted to jump in here here, but I will let you guys get back to the video. This is like so sad! She was my friend. This is like really sad because Emma like was honestly like she wasn't evil. She was just like really disturbed and just had a really hard childhood and her father was really mean and she just wanted love. <gasps> Emma, we weren't the best of friends. We were hardly what I would even call friends. The Emma that Stefan and Edward gushed about wasn't the Emma I got to know. How I wish I met the old Emma. I'm sure we would have been best friends. In fact, that, that is how I choose to remember you. The beautiful and charming Emma who was best friends with two annoying bratty boys. Rest in peace, Emma. Oh my gosh, I wish like they had just like talked about it and like all just like weren't so like angry and just were able to handle it. Oh my gosh, I'm like actually gonna cry. It's sad how it takes the loss of a human life for us to realize the error of our ways. How someone has been taken away from us before we reflect on ourselves. David was never seen in Genova again. Oh my gosh. This is sad. One month later. Okay, I need a break because this is too much. Like, I thought Stefan was dead and now Emma's died. And, like, now I just feel so sad because if they had just all talked and loved each other and there weren't so much anger and hate, like, everything would be okay, but it's not. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, my heart is pounding because I still thought Stefan was the one who died. I literally thought they were gonna do it. I was like, if I had gone for Edward, would they have killed Edward? Were they just trying to set me up with him? I don't know. Okay, so make sure you guys subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. Oh my gosh. Okay, if you want some other videos to watch, they're on the screen, so go check them out or head over to the scories for some awesome comedy videos because I think we all needed some laughter after this one. This was a heavy episode. So I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video of I Married a Prince because we need to see what's gonna happen because I'm still just like, shocked. So I will see you guys later. Bye.